guys, so I just had a great time with Sarah. We went to so many paper shops, but I decided to take uh, one more trip to this Barnes & Nobles. It's on the Upper East Side on 86th Street and Lexington, and I really love this Barnes & Nobles, so we're gonna go check out the origami slash craft section in the store. So this is the bargain price activity kit section um, in the basement and you see they have a simple origami airplane kit here. This is by Andrew Devoir and it is published by Tuttle and this looks really fun. Oh, the box is broken. <laughs> And then we have Ultimate Origami for Beginners. So there's a cool little uh, origami butterfly made out of a dollar bill. And looks like there may be some uh, videos as well too. So step-by-step -step video instructions and 62 sheets of colorful paper. And then over here, I actually have this at home, is the Origami Mega Pack and it's around $10 but there's just like a whole bunch of fun designs to play with and it's great for these, uh, beginners. And then over here we have, oh, these are really great. Uh, they're kimono patterns and it comes in 200 sheets and this nice plastic box here, which is also torn and ripped. I don't know why everything's broken here, but it's for $10 or rather $8.95 and it looks pretty good. And then we have here more uh, the Paper Airplanes Mega Pack, which has like a whole bunch of designs as well. These are great. Um, and they're really inexpensive for what they are. And I think there might be some simple instructions as well. And then here, we have another origami pack, which is uh, a lot of animal print. So we have like peacock, and I think this is a cow, and cheetahs, and snakes, and you know, just a whole bunch of stuff that you can play around with. And I think this would be great for kids to make simple animal models. And then over at the other end, I think I saw something else. So of course they have, you know, knitting kits too. Uh, beautiful paper flowers, which is not exactly origami, but it does look really promising and fun. And then over here we have origami deluxe kit, which has 200 origami papers. And this is actually a very thick box. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's pretty heavy. It's kind of hard to hold with one hand. And there is a magic circle or a pinwheel that you get. And then the back, it looks like it has several layers of stuff. So a layer of paper and maybe some more paper here. And it comes with the book of fabulous origami. So here we are in the craft section and the origami books are the last two shelves or the penultimate shelf I believe. So let's go check that out. So we have uh, scissors, paper, and craft. We have this great book over here called Folding Paper, The Infinite Possibilities of Origami. And we have Trash Origami, which sounds very interesting. So I guess you are we use old papers. So 25 exciting paper models you can make with recycled trash. So that looks pretty cool. And we have layered impressions, which I don't know what this is. It's a mixed media painting book. So it's, I think I may have been put in the wrong section here. Um, some fresh paints, uh, practical origami, which is an excellent book if you're looking for something, you know, that you won't, you know, trash right away. <laughs> And then we have these new books over here, they're called Art Folds, which teach you how to fold uh, books into different shapes. So like this one will teach you how to make it into a heart shape. Let's put that back. Um, there's Origami City, which is, oh that's so cute, fold more than 30 global landmarks, which I think is a great idea. There's Japanese paper crafting, um, paper bots. Oh, these are very cute. And um, what else? 175 paper crafts. Washi Wonder, I love this book. And it shows you a bunch of things that you can do with washi tape. Handmade books, uh, paper craft animals. And then if you go down here a little bit, you see a bunch of other books. So. Paper Made is also a really great book that I've looked through and there's a bunch of recycled crafts here that I highly recommend. And now here, Extreme Origami by Juan Park. 
I love this scorpion dollar bill here. Uh, how to make paper flowers. We have more dollar bill origamis, um, butterflies of course. This is a very uh, well-known famous book, Origami Architecture. Travel origami. Um, let's see, more paper flowers. And then we have origami for her. Um, Buddhist origami, which is pretty interesting. I've never seen this book before. Um, origami for busy people. So things you can do like on the go. And then we have some Tuttle kits here. So um, some prints, the Hakusai prints, and they're eight and a quarter inches square. And then we have the Samurai prints, um, cherry blossom patterns, and then traditional Japanese designs. These are uh, six and three fourth inch. We have Uber Origami. I love the title of this book. It just sounds great. So it says every origami project ever. So I don't think that's true, but I think I do really like this title of the book. There's business card origami. So origami you can fold using old business cards or new business cards. We have the uh, geisha prints, so this is pretty cool. And then here you have origami animal sculpture, and these are really fantastic. Look at this moose here and the bear. I love the detailing at the antlers on top. And then we have origami master class. That's a really awesome rose. Um, card, maker, card maker's bible. Um, Origami for children, which I think we saw at another store earlier. Cars and boats and trains. Uh, this is, I love the cover of this book. And Modern Upcycling Origami by David Mitchell. I love David Mitchell. Paper to Petal. So this is a beautiful book. And there's a Ford by Martha Stewart in this book. So let's take a look. It's really quite nice. And I love the inside of the book too, so there's like scrap paper here. And then we have, of course, more kits. So this is the classic origami kit, uh, animal adventures, uh, paper planes, and this is origami for beginners. See, this is, this is also a kit, so it's called origami home. So let's take a look at that one. It looks like it comes with a book right here with a bunch of models and also some paper, I think. I'm not going to open it because I'm not buying it, but this is, I really love how this is packaged. It's quite nice. And then we have origami animals over here. Um, more origami extravaganza published by Tuttle. Origami airplanes. Easy origami. I actually have these origami papers, so it's kind of funny that I see them here. And then we have some scrapbooking stuff. And then I think that is it for the origami section. There may be some more like paper craft things, but in terms of specifically origami stuff, I think this is it. So I hope you guys like the tour of uh, the Barnes and Noble's origami section.